Good morning, church family, and welcome to Heart to Home. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you for this day, and once again to come here and just to share a little thought of your scripture, a little uh, evil that just touched, I hope it touches everybody's heart. And through your Holy Spirit, I ask that you just anoint me and give me peace as I go through this and give me guidance. And we ask these things in Jesus' name, amen. Okay, so last time I was here, I did uh, Psalms 108, um, verses uh, 1 through 6. And uh, the devotion and title was uh, The Warrior's Morning Song. Um, this one is going to be the same title, but it's going to be part two. And so um, why I'm uh, going through this, why don't you turn to Psalms 108, um, verse 6 through 13. So in, in part one, it was about personal praise of God. We've seen where David uh, praised his, his God. He adorned his God. And uh, every morning, he even says that he did it before the dawn. And, uh, and, and he did it to strengthen his heart for his daily trials and daily conflicts that he had. And I encourage you, as believers in Jesus Christ, that you do that, that you that you praise the Lord before you get up in the morning or as you're getting up. Uh, don't go droggy and get, grab the coffee. I know a lot of us need that before we can even smile in the morning, but uh, we need to uh, start our day off with praising God. I know it's hard. I know it's difficult, but that's what David did, and that's what you should do too. We should do, not you, we. So in part two, it's you were going to see his his David's personal confidence uh, in God, and and uh, we need to see our personal confidence in God. So let's turn back, like I said, to Psalms 108, and uh, let's start with verse six. It says that your beloved ones may be delivered and give salvation by your right hand and answer me. Verse 7, God has promised in his holiness. God has promised in his holiness. Without exaltation, I will divide up Shechem and portion out the valley of Sekar. And, and verse 8, it says, Gilead is mine, Manasseh is mine, Ephraim is my helmet, and Judah is my scepter. In verse 9, he says, and Moab is my wash basin. And upon Edom I will cast my shoe, and on Philistia I will shout in, in triumph. Who will bring me to the fortified cities? Who will lead me to Edom? Have you not rejected us, O God? You do not, you do not go out, O God, with our armies. O oh, grant us, verse 12, help against the foe, for vain is the, foundation, the salvation of man. And with God we shall do valiantly. It is he who will tread down our foes. Do we look at this and do we really have confidence in the Lord? Do we really have confidence that he has got us, that he's gotten to taking care of us, that he's got the battles that we need to go through. Uh, he's there before us. Or maybe we find confidence in ourselves or other people. Well, how about your financial strength? How about other people's advice? We need to find our confidence in the Lord. We need to stand firm because it was to say in verse 12, it says, for vain is the salvation of man. Man, it's vain. It's not, he's not there to save us. It is God that saves us and him alone. In verse 13, this is my life verse, by the way. It says, remember, read it again. It says, God shall do, with God, we shall do valiantly. It's not David saying, I will do valiantly. 
He's saying we shall do valiantly. And I hope you see that, 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 that through God we can take a stand and we can be valiant for him. And, and it's just, like I said, it's just not David. It's not a, a personal pronoun. It's, it's us. It's everybody. And, and it's he who will tread down our foes. So as the week goes on, in our in a month that goes on, I want you to meditate on this, reflect on this, and on, on our life, who we are in Christ. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this time. Thank you for the ability again. I ask that you just guide and direct us as uh, believers that we do find our confidence in you and you alone, not in man, not in the politics or the, the government or or um, our friends, but we really want to find confidence in you and who you are. And we just praise you and thank you. And we ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen.